Greetings superhero fans, welcome back to our channel where we explore the incredible world of superheroes. In today's video, we'll be counting down the top 6 superheroes who defied death and lived to tell the tale. From epic battles to self-sacrifice, these heroes have shown us that death is not always the end. So sit back, relax, and get ready to be amazed as we take a closer look at some of the most death-defying moments in superhero history. This is part 2 of our series, so if you haven't checked out part 1, be sure to do so after watching this video. Without further ado, let's dive in. Coming in with number 1, The Flash. Barry Allen was a beloved DC Comics superhero known for his incredible speed and ability to travel through time and dimensions. Unfortunately, his fate was sealed during the Crisis on Infinite Earth event where he sacrificed himself to power a weapon meant to stop the Anti-Monitor from destroying the multiverse. Despite his heroic efforts, Barry Allen was killed, and for over 20 years, Barry remained dead in the comics, leaving fans mourning the loss of their beloved hero. However, in 2009, he was brought back to life during the Final Crisis event which involved a time traveling battle between Barry and the villainous Darkseid. This momentous occasion was celebrated by writer Jeff Johns in his miniseries titled Flash Rebirth. The series explored Barry's return to life and introduced new concepts such as the Speed Force which is the source of Flash's power. Flash Rebirth was a crucial and commercial success, cementing Barry's place as a key figure in the DC Comics universe. Since his return, he has been a prominent figure, appearing in numerous storylines and as a member of the Justice League. Despite others taking up the mantle of the Flash in his absence, Barry remains a fan favorite and one of the greatest heroes in the DC Comics universe. Number 2. Kid Flash aka Wally West. The Flashpoint event had a profound impact on Wally West's life. After the event, he became trapped inside the Speed Force for a decade, only escaping during the events of DC Rebirth No. 1. This was done as a way to reintroduce Wally to readers who missed him during the New 52 era. The story of his return was later developed as a key part of the DC Rebirth initiative which aimed to restore classic characters and elements to the DC Comics universe. Despite his triumph return, Wally West has been a controversial figure since his resurrection. In particular, his actions during the Heroes in Crisis event have drawn criticism. During this storyline, Wally West was revealed to have accidentally killed several other heroes while dealing with the trauma of losing his own family. This revelation sparked a heated debate amongst fans about whether or not the character's actions were justified and whether or not he should be held accountable for his mistakes. Regardless of the controversy, Wally West remains a popular character amongst DC comic fans. He has been a key member in the Teen Titans, the Justice League, and has even taken on the mantle of the Flash himself. With his rich history and complex personality, Wally West continues to be an important part of the DC Comics universe. Coming in with our number 3, Hawkman and Hawkgirl. Now Hawkman and Hawkgirl are two of DC comic characters who are known for their unique and tragic cycle of death and resurrection. According to their backstory, the two characters are doomed to an endless cycle of reincarnation, each time being reborn in a new life but always finding each other and eventually dying again. This cycle has been explored in various storylines throughout the years, with the characters often struggling to break free from the cursed fate. The origins of Hawkman and Hawkgirl's curse date to an ancient Egypt where they were known as Prince Khufu and Princess Shayara. The two were murdered by the evil priest Hathset and their souls were cursed to an endless cycle of death and reincarnation as punishment for their crimes in a previous life. Over time, the characters stories have evolved and been retold, with different versions of their origin and curses appearing in various comic book series. Despite their tragic fate, Hawkman and Hawkgirl have remained resilient heroes fighting against evil forces and protecting the innocent in each new life they are given. Their love story, which spans centuries and even dimensions, 
have become a beloved part of the DC Comics universe, and fans continue to root for the characters to break free from their cursed fate and find a way to live happily ever after. Moving on to number 4, Damian Wayne aka Robin. The death and subsequent resurrection of Damian Wayne, the son of Bruce Wayne and Talia al Ghul, had a significant impact on the Batman mythos. Damian's death came relatively early in his crime fighting career. In the pages of Batman Inc. storyline, the character was killed by an older clone of himself causing immense grief and guilt for Batman, who had taken Damian under his wing as Robin. Batman became obsessed with finding a way to bring Damien back to life and eventually discovered the Chaos Shard, a powerful artifact capable of resurrecting the dead. The Shard restored Damien to life but also granted him superpowers giving the young hero a new level of strength and ability. However, the powers were temporary and eventually faded away, leaving Damien to return to his role as Robin alongside his father. Despite the brief moment of power, Damien's resurrection also brought a new set of challenges and complexities to his character, as he struggled to come to term with his own morality and his father's obsession with bringing him back to life. Moving on to number 5, Spider-Man. The Inheritor Mor Lun was an incredibly powerful character who appeared in the Spider-Man comics before his family's debut in the Spider-Verse event. He came to New York City with the intention of hunting down and consuming the totemic energies of Spider-Man. This led to a series of intense battles between the two, which ultimately resulted in both Mor Lun and Peter Parker's apparent demise. After his death, a mysterious other dimensional being known as the Other offered to bring Spider-Man back to life as its avatar. Spider-Man was reborn in a new body which granted him some new abilities. Although Peter Parker accepted the other's offer and embraced his enhanced spider powers, he eventually turned on the being. But in an alternate reality, Peter accepted the other's offer and became a terrifying evil version of Spider-Man. And last but never least, in our number 6 spot, we have Iron Man. Tony Stark, the genius inventor and hero known as Iron Man, has managed to cheat death on several occasions. During the Civil War II event, a fierce conflict between heroes resulted in a battle that ended with Captain Marvel accidentally killing Iron Man. However, Tony's brilliant mind had planned ahead and he had created one of his best inventions that allowed him to evade death. Despite being rebuilt with artificially created cells, Tony struggled to accept his new artificial existence and identity as Mark I. Unfortunately, he met his demise once again, but his reborn parents' genetic material played a crucial role in bringing him back to life using non-artificial cells. This effectively revived the real Tony Stark who went on to continue his legacy as Iron Man. Now, if you are enjoying the series where we depict the death and rebirth of superheroes, please hit that like button, for this is only part 2. There is many more to come, because as we know in the DC and Marvel universe, heroes die and get reborn all the time. Death is never forever. But thank you, and if you have any suggestions for future topics, leave them down in the comments.